All right, everybody. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. And <clears throat> tonight I have on my bench, otherwise known as my dining room table, <laughs> a uh, Leap Pad Ultra for, for by, made by Leapfrog. And it has a very famous error that um, Leapfrog has, has built into this that some of the units have, where the battery is fully charged, but it flashes it only stays on for about a minute maybe two minutes tops flashes the low battery sign and then shuts down completely then you have to reboot it and you just can't get anywhere with it so I called leaf pad and I exercised my rate of uh, return and got a new unit which is actually on its way um, but they were kind enough to allow me to keep this unit and I had a hunch that I knew what the problem was, but I didn't want to take the chance of taking it apart and not being able to uh, return it because it was open and that would definitely void the warranty. And thankfully they have a really cool process where they just need a picture of it destroyed um, by writing the, the, the um, writing on a Sharpie on the cover of it, taking a picture to, of it and emailing it to them, which I did. And then after I got the confirmation, um, they said they're going to ship me out another one. I then cleaned it up and said, let's figure out the problem. Uh, the problem is, is that the battery on this uh, is not is not properly discharging and it's causing the error. But what you have to do to get to it is take, take the cover off and get to the housing area where the battery is. And in order to do that, that's what this video is here, is to show you how to do that. What you do... And um, I've already pulled this apart. Uh, you have to pull this cover off. In order to get to it, it has these two screws right here that normally would go underneath here where the serial number is. You take those two off and then you start prying. And you gotta be careful or else you're gonna mess the back of the housing up because there's real heavy adhesive. You see the outlines of the adhesive here? This is the adhesive that you just kinda gotta pop these these fingers off as you see all over here all these different fingers pop these fingers off and work your way back towards the top of the, the unit uh, you, when you get down to this portion of it you got to probably stick something in there um, as you know I do uh, cell phone repair and iPad and iPods and stuff such so I have tools that are that equip me for this and but you need something similar to this spudger here this metal spudger just to get in there and separate and once you get it separated, um, you can get down here to these final two joints, pop them off, and then the back comes off. And then you're almost done. And then what you have to do is take all these uh, Phillips head screws off throughout the, uh, or around the frame. Um, you have these three at the top, one, two, and three over here in the corner that are smaller. So set them off to the side separately, and then the rest of them are all the same size. You can group those together, keep those in, and you can hear that's this is my daughter's by the way. Um, Mel, Mel, she's right there. Say hi, Mel. Hi. And I'm your other daughter, Maddie. There's my other daughter, Maddie. And I just found out a new game that my dad is wrong. Sure. And we are going to. <laughs> oh boy. And so we are going to pull these off. And you can just fast forward through this. The nice thing about this is that once all these are off, it pops off. Uh, it's not adhered. There's no adhesive on it, and it's just just uh, secured down, well, fastened by these Phillips head screws. So we're gonna pop them off. lazy about this because I'm recording and I don't want to waste your time you have no need to do this oh another thing is is um, the, the um, stylus here you'll have to feed through this housing here and my dogs are at my feet hey 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 So that's the last.
last one there. And then this just gently picks up. And, comes off. and then my dogs are fighting. And voila, we have the main board. The batteries here, your main board, your camera, all this stuff. And then all you have to simply do is take your finger, pop this off, and pull it out. And go over here to the down here, hit the power button to dissipate any power that's left on the board. Plug it back in. And you fixed it. And then put it back all back together. And the problem goes away. The battery will begin to discharge and dissipate. Now, I just discovered this and it, I've, I've tested it. It seems to work. The thing, the unit stayed on until it actually timed out. Um, I played a couple of games on it and it seemed to just be just fine. Uh, your results may vary, but it certainly is worth a try. Uh, and it's an easy fix that just about anybody can do um, if you're experiencing issues with your Leap Pad Ultra. Again, this is just the Leap Pad Ultra. Um, it, this is the, the has the latest 5.7 firmware on it, which did squat for it, but it did it was a decent upgrade. So, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.